Dr. Zendo, good to have you with us. Thank you. On a Sunday. Lovely to be here. It's, it's a very important time to talk about, uh, A, the new male contraceptive. Yeah. Obviously off the back of World AIDS Day as Absolutely. well. We're talking all things sexual and sexual violence. Abuse of, and sexual yeah. violence. All these things that go with it. Uh, one of the articles I was reading about hmm. this, and you would have heard it in my intro, uh, it's not just about uh, the male contraceptive being effective. Sure. It's the male idea that uh, the contraception game is yeah. only for women. Surely in 2019, almost 2020, yeah. that conversation has to start changing. Oh no, it should have changed a long time ago. And I think it goes both ways because it's not just the matter of saying we have excluded men from the, you know, being responsible uh, uh, participants. But if you look at the studies that have been done, there's been a lot of uh, gatekeeping around, you know, the effectiveness, the side effects, and that's possibly the biggest reason why it hasn't gone through uh, um, till thus far. Has it ever been attempted as a rollout here and what has the stumbling blocks been? This seems to be good news of the, uh, the general, the health general of India now yeah. telling us here in South Africa, no, this is fine, you can go for it. Why has it never rolled out here? Look, I mean, if you look, if you look at the whole thing, even in India, I'm not sure if they're really going to be able to roll it out within a year or so. Mm. They've just done a study which, uh, uh, I think it was their second drug trials, um, they have to do something much bigger with the bigger uh, population. So I, I'm, I'm not sure. Definitely not being rolled out in the in the U.S. Mm. Um, uh, and the biggest thing is 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 it effective? But not only is it effective, what are the side effects? Um, um, one thing that is good is that every time they've looked at the possibility of getting one out. Mm. They say literally, even with just a 10% uptake by the men, it would decrease unplanned pregnancy quite significantly. So that's a that's a big plus. Mm. So um, we've had the, the the trial with the pill that's also you know ongoing. We've had the the gel, which is closely something like what they've got in India, mm. um, but also the injectables. Um, but all of them are still under like stringent drug rules and drug trials uh, um, to, to to go through. As you mentioned, the word gels and injections, I can see all the men. <laughs> living room at home, yeah. reaching for the remote, trying to change to sport. Yeah. Uh, what is the practicalities of this? We understand, or we, I, I say that very ignorantly, but there's, yeah. a, there's a better understanding of female contraception, the pull, etc. What does this contraception look like? What yeah. is this do you think it's going to be? What's involved? Right. So, so this particular one that they're talking about in India um, is basically a gel. It, they call it sort of like a, a non-surgical vasectomy. So it does a similar thing as you would with the vasectomy except with the vasectomy you're either cutting or tying that vas deferens where, where, where the sperms are, are mm. produced um, so this is a gel that would sort of like block at that particular uh, uh, um, area and then prevent sperms from going through so that they are not passed on during ejaculation so it, it's a similar concept they say it would work for about 13 years um, uh, um, and, and again it would be injected into within a, a something to, ref to reverse it another sort of chemical or drug mm -hmm. to be injected to be reversed so I don't know how how, how willing men are um, you've said that two three times now and you, you, you're yeah. right I'm not disagreeing with you why that seems to be the bigger battle isn't it? I mean, generally in healthcare, we, we, we've noticed trends about um, uh, um, how the differences between male and female going to get health care. Just checkups, simple checkups. If you look at the uptake of prostate uh, uh, cancer screening, for example, versus, you know, something that females do, for example, pap smears, mm. you'll find a big difference. Annual. You know, um, so, so there is that thinking or, or just the way we are we I don't know if it's the way we are cultured where I, I, I honestly think men should just come on board and mm -hmm. and at the very least it, it's not be ignorant about what is happening what is the information what are what are the safety mm -hmm. feet what are the safeties what are the side effects just at, at the very least let's let's get to know it's almost one of those uh, those cases of if you're big enough to have sex you're big enough to have the responsibility absolutely Absolutely. In fact, you know, when I when I looked at all the studies that are being done, a lot of them lo are looking at a possibility of about ten years to, to to at least get something in reality out in the market. So my question has always been: So what happens in the next ten years? Mm. I honestly believe that if men, even at this point, 
took some kind of a role and responsibility, even with the female contraception. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot that partners can do to support and, and, and make that journey a little bit easier, um, and it, it makes a world of a difference. It's still very much a gender divide, isn't it, as far oh, as yeah. like, that's a woman's problem, I'm the man, I don't want to get involved with it. Uh, just just yeah. a final question for you, Dr. Zender, yeah. if you don't mind. Uh, what's, your, what's the timeline you understand on this? And then part two of that question, if yeah. you could, is uh, there's always the cost involved in this, of even course. female contraception. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a cheap endeavor, which no. is why we have the unwanted pregnancy rates that we have in this right. country. So, so, I mean, from, from what we've looked at in terms of what they've done, India sounds very optimistic that it'll be coming out pretty quite soon. But, but when you look at how drug trials go, they've just passed their second drug trial. And, and, and they're estimating at about 10 years, at least, for it to hit the market. Mm. Um, whereas if you look in the, in the U.S., for example, where they've taken something slightly similar, they've bought some kind of licensing from, from, from the same drug, um, they are looking at even further. And this is apparently the closest that, that we are if you look at any male contraception that is currently um, under trial. So it's, it's not something that we can expect like tomorrow. Um, but but I'm but I'm glad there's definitely a lot of work being done to try and get it get it out as soon as possible. Dr. Zender, thank you very yes. much for coming in. Uh, very you. serious questions, not about just the contraceptive, yes. but about men getting involved. I thank you for your time uh, in you. coming in to speak to us uh, this afternoon. Gynecologist uh, and obstetrician, uh, it's Dr. Mpume Zender.